226 acres of southeast Nebraska ground are now in the hands of Colorado-based Niocorp. We went from being renters of this land to owners of the land. But what the company wants is still buried deep underground. It's a carbonatite, explains Chief Operating Officer Scott Honan. And that's an exciting thing if you're a geologist because carbonatites host all kinds of interesting mineral resources. In this case, niobium, scandium, and titanium. On a walk around the property, Honan stops at one of the test sites. Oh, yeah. So we've got a complete vertical profile of the rock um, in this particular location. And what the company found is promising, enough to finally warrant the multi-million dollar purchase of land with plans for Nebraska's newest mine. That underground mine is going to produce ore and that ore will be hoisted to surface and will feed a, a surface uh, processing plant. While the market is focused on what will come out of this southeast Nebraska town, people living around Tecumseh tell me they're more focused on what will come in. Doug Garaki's worked for the city of Tecumseh for 34 years. Southeast Nebraska is what it is, tiny rural communities. This adds a total different game to it and high paying jobs to boot. Pay increases, uh, tax relief. All those things are entering in now, and, and uh, those are all a plus. That's Greg Kruger, who's lived nearby for more than 60 years. He knows there's always been talk about the project. We were always talking percentages before us locals. You know, is it going to happen, is it not? We drilled here in 1978, uh, the very first hole a couple hundred feet behind us, actually. LeVon Heideman, former Nebraska lieutenant governor, now Pawnee County commissioner, knows the history, and he knows the project might ruffle some feathers. It is going to change what it looks like around here, you know, and everybody like, they don't like change, especially people in this area, they don't like change. But they might like this. Every time I come down here, I see the sign on the side of the road by the Tecumseh Correctional Institute, and, uh, you know, they're offering uh, $20 an hour to get people to come work there, and, and I think, you know, uh, that's probably going to be the very lowest paying job here at, uh, at the Elk Creek Mine when it's up and running. So the company still has to raise about a billion dollars from investors to start digging the mine, but market forces may make the metals in the ground a hot commodity.